Hi, it's Angela Palina here from A Piece of Cake. I'm just about to um, show you how to make a puff pastry. This is a very easy way that I learnt when I did a small stint at Yellow Bistro. And it's a really easy way to do the puff pastry. You're not going to get 80 to 100 layers, but you will get some layers in it. So um, it will be a lovely puff pastry that you can use all the time and it is really easy so I'm about to show you how to do it here we go okay for this easy puff pastry you'll need 265 grams of butter um, cut into cubes and just left to sit out um, just to soften just a tiny bit but not too much um, because you still you need it to still be cool or cold then you'll need to have 60 mils of full cream milk into that jug, you'll add 40 grams of caster sugar and you'll need 40 grams of egg yolk with 40 grams worth of a whole egg. So um, you just need to weigh that up. You really needs to be about 80 grams in total of 40 gram egg yolk and 40 gram whole egg. So pop that in there and then with the fork, you need to mix that all around and it's important to try and dissolve the sugar. Just, uh, just try and dissolve the sugar in there. Okay. I've given it a good whisk, a good little mix and I'm going to pop that now into the fridge to keep cool and then you'll also need 375 grams of plain flour and a pinch of salt. We're going to um, start mixing that around now. Okay so the next step is we need to pop the flour into a food processor with the salt. Okay so you've put the flour and the salt in, now we'll scatter the butter around and the butter is still um, cold and firm just soften just a tiny little bit but just pop that in okay now all you need to do is pulse it a few times um, just with the pulse button you just want to break up that butter a bit in the flour and you're just pulsing the machine a few times not a lot Okay, so I probably did it about six times there. Now we're going to add our milk, caster sugar and egg mixture. So just pour a little bit in. You can see that. So pour a little bit in and then just pulse three or four times. That's it. Pour a little bit more in and just pulse three or four times again. Pour a bit in, pulse it three, four times, a little bit more, pulsing, we're trying to keep the, just little quick pulses, that's all the mixture in, and that's it. Now we're going to turn this out and um, use our hands in the next stage. Okay, so now we need to tip that pastry into the dough out. What is that? That's dough for you. And then you need, um, if you've got a sharp scraper like this, this is good because this just um, chops through what we've just tipped out from our food process. And it, what that does is it just brings the dough into the same size sort of chunks. If you don't have um, a scraper like that, if you've got a um, plastic one like that, that'll do the trick as well. So we're just trying to um, get those all that dough from the food processor into similar size pieces. So then you just line up all that mixture just in a row like that and then with the palm and of your hand it. yeah you did good with the palm of your hand you're just going to 
scrape those bits to spread the butter through the flour mixture. We don't need to spread it too much, that's why you just need to softly use the palm of your hand against the bench which will um, allow those chunks of butter that are in there to spread through the dough mixture. Yeah, you did it too. Freya's doing it with me now. So again, get the palm of your hand and just spread it on the bench like so. Again, just get the palm of your hand and spread it. You need a bit of pe bench space to spread it. Then again, get your scraper and scrape it all to the side there. Bring some more over. Wow. And again, big strides with the palm of your hands and you're just spreading that butter through. That's good. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Spreading it through. Can I have the, another piece? Sure. So again, bring it and you continue doing that until all of it's done. And again, you're just using the palm of your hand softly on the bench and you're just using the end point of the palm. I'm doing the same as you. I know, you're very good at it. Okay, so now that's all of the um, mixture spread in, from in spread by the palm of your hand. So you need to work quickly in a way because you can't let it um, melt the dough. Um, so it's good to do it on Why? a cold because then the butter will melt. Um, you're going to try and keep the butter as cool as possible while you're working. So doing this on a really hot day is probably not suitable. Maybe put the air conditioning on. Um, but on a cold day, this is great to do. That's why we're doing it today. So, um, being a winter's morning, um, then just, again, using the palms of your hand, um, they t tend to be the cooler part of your hand. Um, grab your dough and just flatten it a bit. And then, because in that, um, when we wrap it up and let it chill in the fridge, and then go to roll it, this is easier to, to do when it's like that. So then we get the piece. I just have to do it in a triangle. In a triangle? That's so get, you. Okay, this is a rectangle. So get the rectangle piece. Again, just pop, pop it, try and make it square. Don't handle it too much. Wrap it up in your glad wrap. And we're going to let that sit in the fridge. Overnight would be preferable, otherwise give it at least two hours, a bit longer if you can. 